So we're going to try to show the boot up sequence uh, of this uh, chicken coop controller. It's being run off of one of those wonderful Adafruit Feather M0s. Fantastic boards. Uh, we've got a couple of BME, let's see, 280s, one inside, one outside. Um, we've got a one wire sensor that's probably out of view here. You can kind of see the wire down here. Um, just a few sensors to test the board and the functionality of the code. Uh, and we're going to try to check the boot up sequence. Let's see if it, uh, it's going to work. So we just have a splash there with the firmware version. We're connecting to Adafruit.io to uh, send some sensor data. Now it's setting up the internal external sensors. Um, all this is being done over I squared C. Uh, once it finds the sensors and gets good data back from them, it will continue booting. So uh, let's check in the lights there. So here we have the default um, landing page. You can see in the top right, let's see right up here, the the sun logo to let us know that the, the light sensor is working. And we, we have um, light coming in on the photo sensor over here. Is the door closed? That'll switch the arrow come the other way when the door's open and it has kind of a looking like an animated movement when it's in motion. That's the hen door to let the, the chickens in and out of the hen house. Uh, over in here we'll have um, a fan, circular fan uh, glyph to show when the hen house fan is on for circulation. Uh, then there's kind of like a little fire here that shows that the water heater's on uh, in the winter time so the water doesn't freeze. Here at the bottom we have the outside temperature uh, coming from one of these uh, BME 280 sensors from Adafruit. Uh, the water temperature, this is coming from the one wire, Dallas one wire um, waterproof sensor. And then we have the internal temperature over here, uh, which again is coming from a BME 280 from Adafruit. So um, all in all we'll have um, quite a few sensors. Now these BMEs do more than just temperature. They do barometric pressure and all kinds of great things. That's all being sent to Adafruit.io every 15 minutes. Uh, but this display is really just to show the user at a glance kind of what's happening with the, the controller and the hen house and the environment. Um, we have other diagnostic LEDs that, that kind of help troubleshoot system failures. Um, but this is really just to give you a quick glance um, at what's going on with the, the controller. Again, this is a a 128 by 64 OLED 1.3 inch uh, diagonal uh, and again we're running it you can see up here ground uh, power um, SCL and SDA so it's just I squared C um, performance is great on these uh, visibility is amazing uh, on such a small screen very very easy to read uh, more coming on this uh, I've got a lot a lot more work invested in this controller and the code and of course as always we'll share the schematic and uh, uh, the code and, and all of that uh, to make sure others that are interested in and maybe automating their hen house, uh, their chicken coop, and uh, want to take a stab at it, they can uh, do the same. Later, guys.